What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video. We're talking about the dragons, they are back, better than ever, been seeing them more and more recently. Wanted to show a couple attacks, starting at Town Hall 13, and working our way downwards. Um, these are both with the bat spell, and with the lightning spell, so different types of dragon attacks. All of it has been working a lot recently. We'll talk a little bit about why, show you guys some of the, the keys to using this attack strategy at these various Town Hall levels. Um, this first one is a Town Hall 13 Drag Bat attack. Really big fan of the Yeti being used for the funnel. It is often very effective to take out some outer defenses plus some just regular buildings um, because the Yeti will target the buildings and then the Yeti Mites will target the defenses in the area. You can get you know pretty good value for the 18 troop space, sometimes better than using like a baby dragon, uh, which is a good alternative in some cases. Anyway, um, really what you're doing with dragons is trying to make a narrow pathing through the base and then trying to uh, use bat spells in this case to kind of exploit the rest of it. In this case, the heroes do a great job taking out one little compartment of the base. Great value for just the investment of essentially just his heroes, and then coming in on the other side, just uses regular dragons to funnel, so dragons funneling dragons, not necessarily anything wrong with that. Um, the main force going up the gut here has a delayed blimp to go for the town hall. The idea here is the warden's ability is gonna cover the dragons at a good point, and also gonna cover the blimp so it can make it all the way to the town hall unimpeded, has a rage for it as well, right as the uh, balloons get there. And then on the back end, uh, we have the Ice Golem tanking uh, the scatter shot. Draws the Lava Hound, fortunately, away from the Dragons, which is always good. Gotta be careful. Also has the Archer, just in case. Unfortunately, his Royal Champion will lock on, but um, you know not much you can do about that. And then uh, has a couple freezes for the last Wizard Tower. So everything works out perfectly here. Um, very nice hit. Couple Dragons still left up, so the timing was good. Bats come through, and what's left just can't deal with them. The single Infernos um, really stand no chance. But I, one of the things I really liked here is often at Town Hall 12, Town Hall 13, you know, the bats are not going to do well against the Town Hall. It has so many hit points, it'll take them out quickly. And when it explodes, it'll, it'll kill all of them. So you can't really use bats on the Town Hall. But often you're not going to want to send your dragons directly at the town hall. So using the battle blimp is a great way to take out the town hall without having to come directly at it with your dragons initially. You just send it in behind your dragons, use the warden's ability, and the blimp will almost always make it to the town hall. Take it out, clear the way for the bats to come in later uh, without the town hall. So it worked out perfectly. Um, we'll show in a couple of their attacks, then we'll switch gears take a look at a few of ours um, from this most recent war. Switching it up with some Town Hall 12 and with some Lightning Spell variation. Very popular at Town Hall 12 right now, especially if you see all multi-infernos. The dragons can handle that very well because they're so tanky and the multis are pretty low hit point or pretty low damage rather. Uh, defenses and then also uh, the lightning spells got pretty good damage on the multi infernos so when the dragons do get there eventually it's not that difficult to take them down once again has to make the pathing narrow here so coming in with the king queen ice golem typical sui the uh, clan castle is offset so it doesn't have to worry about luring that out that is great and then it comes in with this e dragon to set the funnel on the other side unfortunately he's going to hit a seeking air mine which will uh, mess up the funnel just a little bit, but not enough to ruin the attack. Um, heroes get pretty good value on the other side. King is uh, clearing quite a bit out and then setting up the dragons to come in behind that stone slammer, which in itself is going to get a lot of value. There's just not a whole lot of damage on that part of the base besides a couple Teslas. And then as you go deeper, you have the Town Hall and the Expos, of course. Anyway, the King will kind of meet up here with everything as they push into the base. Rage over some nice high hit point buildings as we like to see. Slammer out in front doing its job and then the uh, the CC troops come out but not a big deal. Um, the goblins do lure unfortunately but I think some of the balloons are going to crash on them which will take them out quickly. Plus the dragons do that splash damage so you know it works out and um, end of the day has a, a rage even though there's a sweeper pushing on them, the rage can kind of help counteract that. And most of them can actually get out of range of that sweeper too because it's pointed off to the right there. But pretty much all that's left is a couple Archer Towers Expo, 
um, and then those two multis that were hit by the lightnings at the beginning. Now, one thing I mentioned is it's, it, it was important that that funnel worked out okay in the top part of the base, because the biggest problem with the uh, lightning spell dragon combination attack is that your dragons are not gonna stay inside the base. They're gonna go around the outside, and when that happens, a couple expos or you know whatever it is that's still up in the middle is just gonna be picking on them nonstop as they circle around. So you gotta make sure they stay in the base, create a nice good funnel, and oftentimes the lightning spells will help create that funnel by taking out not just the air defense, but also other buildings, clearing out a small section and helping with the funneling. Heroes are a big part of it as well, and in this case, the Electro Dragon uh, tried to seal the deal there. And fortunately, there was a little bit of a path leading away towards the outside because the E-Dragon died early. Fortunately, the dragons did not take that. Um, so that was important for this to work out, allowing enough to go into the base and take out the Expo multi-infernos and the other stuff that was left up that could hurt the dragons. Alrighty, so we're going to switch over, take a look at some Town Hall 11. I mean, we've seen a lot work at Town Hall 11, or sorry, one more Town Hall 12. We're focusing a little more on Town Hall 12 today because this is where it's working the most. Last attack will be the Town Hall 11. Got a little bit ahead of myself there. Okay, so this one I thought was very well set up. Um, once again, we are switching back to the Bat Spell variation of this attack and um, you're getting some good value from the heroes usually on most standard basis the clan castle somewhat guards the town hall you don't want to lure the lava hound <clears throat> goblins uh, even ice golem stuff like that so it's good to use the heroes on the opposite side of the base which is what's done here and then the king actually comes in uh, gets a little bit of value almost gets the eagle down the queen gets the air defense and some other uh, buildings like that these nice little uh, dead spaces are natural little funnelers to kind of help push everything along. We'll see that in a moment. Queen gets some more value before she finally goes down. And then in come the dragons. Has uh, two rages, is going into a sweeper here, which is pointed in a pretty good direction. So has to, um, has to use those rages effectively. And then just a nice back end blimp. Um, Could have come at, come at it as we saw in previous attacks with the battle blimp being used on the same side of the dragons, but it was so far from where the warden's ability was going to be used all the way to the um, to where the town hall was that it was actually better to come on the other end and just make sure the town hall goes down and the warden's ability doesn't have to be timed perfectly because sometimes it's difficult to time the blimp with the warden. But um, the dragons get what they need to get. That's the important thing. Then the, here come the bat spells. Coming across the base here, only has one freeze and there is the multi still up, um, but you can see here there's really not a whole lot of other defenses besides that multi. So nice and patient, then there's the freeze, good timing on it. Um, I think the bats are going to be a little bit fried here, but uh, fortunately the multi can't take them out quick enough, especially because there was almost no other buildings that even put a dent in that wave of bats, so it's pretty much... Uh, doesn't matter that that Inferno had a few seconds to hit them. Gets the job done and a couple dragons left up. Always have those cleanup minions too. Um, those are very helpful uh, so you don't run out of time on these attacks. Alright, one more Town Hall 11 as we wrap this up. And uh, I know it's been a while since I've uploaded. Been a little bit busy uh, trying to balance everything and... Uh, I'll try to cover some update content. Haven't seen the Super Minion, the uh, Super Valk. Haven't seen those being used too much in these most recent wars post-update. Um, I think there's a place for them. People are still figuring them out. But they're not going to be dominating any attack strategies, at least from what I've seen. I've had a few people message me things, um, but I haven't seen any consistent use of them. If you, uh, if you have been having success, if you have seen a lot of attacks, let me know in the comments you know, what attack strategies might be working with the, the Super Valk, Super Minion, uh, that new stuff from the update. Be curious to see. Um, but the update so far, I think, was um, had some good changes, had some things that I maybe didn't like to see as much, uh, namely the extra troops base at Town Hall 13. Not a huge fan of that, but um, I think overall it was uh, added some cool stuff, and I think people will find some, some unique ways to use them, as they always do. Um, this last attack, once again, uh, some zap spells taken down the air defenses. 
with the heroes and then the lightnings all air defenses are down plus we have let's see two grounded expos uh, which you know makes a big difference at town hall 11 once those air defenses are down the expos and the queen are kind of the next biggest thing other than the eagle i guess the eagle is always going to be an issue um, but in terms of that directed damage uh, it's going to be the queen and the expo so having half of the expos down definitely helps and then the pathing uh, was made pretty easy uh, by virtue of the funnel on either side by the heroes comes in gets the eagle has a nice heal spell as well the heal spell I'm kind of torn on sometimes uh, you can get some good value I think in this case the value is actually pretty good right here gets a lot of troops in it uh, for quite a quite a while gets you know the full heal effect almost on a lot of these troops so there's a time and a place and maybe this was it but um, in general not necessarily the best uh, thing to use for dragons nice free spell there we have the uh, super minion in the clan castle which is interesting um, it can do some damage you know pretty far away for its first few shots so you know it can sometimes be effective in this case it's not going to do a whole lot as all the dragons converge on it test the farm on the back end is not going to be enough i like bringing the e dragon um, for this type of attack because it's a lot more effective on the back end when there's no spells left and maybe there's a Tesla farm hidden among storages, which is the exact case here. It's going to be a lot more effective than the dragons. So especially at Town Hall 11, but maybe even other Town Hall levels, if you're doing the lightning spell version of this dragon attack, um, electro dragons are sometimes better in certain situations if you're going to bring one or two of them uh, because they can work better you know, without the rages, without the bats coming through, when they just have to finish off a few archer towers and a few other buildings on the back end, they have a lot more reach, as you can imagine, because of their chain effect than dragons would. So I like having an E-Dragon mixed in, and uh, the Troll Tesla is not going to be enough to stop this attack. Nice hit to uh, 712, and that does it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed Good to see you all again in this uh, video. It's been a little while, like I said, but getting back to it. And hopefully I'll have some more content coming very soon. Hit that subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy my content, consider supporting the channel by entering my creator boost code, BISECT, in the settings tab of your game. And keep in mind it occasionally resets and must be re-entered. Click or tap for another video and be sure to subscribe. See you all next time. Bisectatron out.